Zinwell ZA SA3200. So what is this? The Zinwell uh, 32 series. This is the first entry model. We can support a totally 120 watts and support a HDMI repeater, two input and one in one output, and also support a Bluetooth. So for example, if we use the DVD players, the pre DVD player can connect to the HDMI output to our soundbar. And also the PlayStation, your game player, also can connect to the soundbar. And the soundbar output to the TV. Yeah, so the, all the audio can use our soundbar to make a performance. And our soundbar, the most important thing is it can re recreate the virtual surround sounds and make the people they can enjoy it. It's like they uh, sitting in the living room with 5.1 audio system, but without the complicated installations. Just Let's only try. one bar. Let's have a loud... Uh... Right here we're getting a 3D effect. So if you have any content with 5.1 content yeah. inside... If now Ooh. I just change it back to the stereo. Yeah. Still, this is normal mode. Yeah. So the sound is just come from straight away to you. Yeah. The sound feels very narrow. Yeah. But uh, later, when I just change it to the uh, virtual surround sound, you can hear the virtual surround sound is a much better uh, wide yeah. uh, sound effect. So how does it work? Yeah. This is uh, use the uh, they call is the timing difference. Yeah. Now the, because the Trident, we use the Trident DSP. They used to is the Micronus, the DSP audio chipset, but now it's already acquired by the Trident. So now the sound effects is very nice. It's also based on the German audio technology. On which one? The Trident. Okay. So uh, behind here you have two, two US, uh, HDMI in yes, and one out. Behind here we have uh, two HDMI in, HDMI 1, HDMI 2. HDMI output ready to the TV. And we support the external subwoofer out and uh, audio line in and optical input and uh, home jet input. Yeah. So you can use this in combination with also do uh, stereo or instead of uh, uh, surround. Yes. You can use it instead or also. Instead. Instead. Instead only. Yeah. Only instead. Only instead. Okay. So here, when you enjoy here. You can hear your right side and your left side. You can hear there's already a sound speaker here. Yeah. So actually, according to the uh, Titan, they say this is a speaker it's called the fountain speakers. It's very similar to have some speaker around yourself. But it's not really have a speaker here, but yeah. you can you can feel it's the speaker. This is a virtual surround. Yeah. How and much is it going to cost, this device? I think in the uh, retail price, uh, because our products are contained with the Bluetooth modules, so in the retail price it's around 400 US dollars. Can you show the Bluetooth uh, system? Yep. So now the Bluetooth is already connected, and uh, here is light on, and my Bluetooth also is light on. Yeah. So now I can use my remote phone to change the Bluetooth. It's connected with yeah. the Bluetooth. I also can change the song. So for example, now I change to the laws. All right. So, so you also can use the remote control to change the song or from your uh, smartphone to change the song. So is how much? How, how, so how much and when is it available? Oh, how soon can you buy uh, it? Actually, uh, we are also trying to introduce to the Europe market and going to have a market uh, hopefully in the Q2. Yeah, so Q2. everybody can buy it in retail price. So today, uh, who can buy it today? Who? Yeah, where is it available today? Oh, okay. The currently now we are uh, working with our distributors. They are for yeah. German and France and UK market. All right. Yep. And the uh, retail price will be? Uh, 400 US 400. dollars. Okay. Yep. Cool. Thank you. So Zindwell is a media player company. And uh, basically you have the, this version as well, ZA, uh, ZSA. Uh, 3200, you basically put this one inside? Yes, it's already embedded the uh, media player inside. So, uh, also can support a uh, movie, photo, music, playback functions through the USB and through the uh, Ethernet connector. Can we check behind? Yes, Look behind. the connector behind. So I just uh, use this, it's more easier. Yeah. So you can also have a uh, uh, power, in yeah. power input and also have uh, optical and uh, line-in and also have left-right line-in 
and the uh, subwoofer output. And for the media player, because not all the TV can support the HDMI, so we also reserve the composite output and the component output. So for the HDMI, I have component uh, HDMI output and two HDMI input. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe everything again. <laughs> okay, okay so here is one is the uh, AZ45. Uh, the, so the, the cost increases how much? Increase uh, around uh, forty dollars. Forty dollars. Forty dollars. And this is how it looks inside. Yes. Which part is the media player part inside here? Inside here, the media player portion is uh, is around uh, this area. This area. Nice. Yeah. And this cool. area, see. 40, you said extra, yeah, huh? This is That's extra. Yeah. And this is our amplifier. What do you connect here? This is our amplifier. Amplifier, amplifier module. module. And this is DSP modules around here. And this portion is the media player functions.